Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement worth having. When I suggest this, I'm suggesting people to pay attention to where they are in their life cycle. Where are you in your line of life? In other words, what's your age, what's your station, what's your education level, what's your certification? Where are you and where you're trying to get to in the retirement years of your life? No one really knows what their health can be like when they're in their elderly years. You never know if you're not taking good care of your temple, your body that the Lord gave you, whether or not you're going to survive the elder years of life. All families, all cellular health is not passed down through genetics, but it can be, so we can be impacted by things that our family has had in the past. We can also create our own conditions if we're not eating the right foods in the right volumes in the right amount of times during the day. Most Americans are trained to eat well, meals three times a day. Other people do something a little different and they might have four or six small meals a day. And sometimes that changes the way that we feel about ourselves. It also changes the way we look at about ourselves. But let's face it, healthy eating is really essential during the summer, especially staying away from the typical things that kids love, which is soda pop, which is so full of carbonate and so full of sugar, but so full of all sorts of chemicals that your kids get a little bit crazy. And most parents can't handle that. They come home from work, they're tired, and they're just like, enough, and they don't want any more. Now, I am no expert in parenting. I barely got through parenting one adult childhood to child to adulthood. And now I'm a loving grandfather of something. I'm not sure what, but eventually I'll know. It doesn't really matter. The point is that when you have a life in your lifetime, you have to figure out at what point do I have to make a shift in my career so that I can get to the place that I'm trying to get to. Also, we have to look at our time schedules. If we're only a part-time employee, well, then clearly what you want to do is talk to your company about getting a very disciplined schedule. When I was dealing with the late father dying, I literally said, look, I can only work these days, and I'm fine on these days. Please give me these days off because these days off allow me to make, in theory, a living because these are the hottest days for my industry to be available to people. They understood that. They regarded that. They kept that, and it was good for me. But it was still a part-time gig. It wasn't going to pay enough for my salary. It wasn't going to pay enough for my living expenses. It was just enough, barely enough for me to handle food and, well, expenditures in terms of electric bill, utility bills, I guess that's what they're called. It's been a long time since I had to worry about that stuff. Even living in Japan, I had utility bills and all sorts of rent and everything that any other human being does, just like any other person around the world. But here's the play. If we don't know what people are doing today, if we're not sure who they are today, it is our number one job to be a good listener. Because a good listener understands and harvests information and literally listens to someone else's lifeline and story. Because sometimes we might know the person that could help that person celebrate more of God's glory. In other words, they're looking for slightly different work. They want to advance in their life. They want to do something that doesn't make them feel like a jerk. And they want to do something healthy, moral, and, well, intelligent. So sometimes the people that we associate with actually have a player, has a friend, has someone somewhere in colleague network, and, well, the networking man, that might actually have the position that we're talking about, or that we're looking for, or that just might fit our skills. But you have to be a really good listener to say, you know, those skill sets that you're talking about, that you do on the basic aspects of your job, could probably be parlayed into this type of job over here. Have you ever considered looking at this on LinkedIn, or one of the job hunting network sites? And that's the hard part, because sometimes those things, you work hours on those things, on those resumes and on those online applications, and then your technology goes kaput, and the hour and a half of work that you just did just goes zap out of your life. Now, I'm not telling you anything that any standard job hunter doesn't know, but networking in life, socializing in life, and socializing with the people appropriately across cultural divides is really appropriate in life. In life, we have moments of time to teach people who we are, and how we dress, and how we feel, how we present, what we say, and all the things that we presume are real about American society today are really real. When we try to alter what people expect, when we try to interfere with people we disrespect, when we try to avoid the law enforcement of our life, which means, hey, you got laws on this industry, you got rules on this industry, and you're trying to live outside the lines of that, how, what foolery you're in. But in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about our experiences and the truth of our experience is that everyone in life has to find a way to get themselves to retirement in life meaning where they can just walk away from being forced to be working in retail or some other place at the end of their life